What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video, well, I walked outside and I was uh, actually cleaning up some stuff in the trailer from the desert trip and notice that the passenger side tire in the toy hot well, I don't know what you call it, passenger side? Yeah, it's called passenger side tire on the toy hauler was looking a little low. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but I noticed this rear tire right here, it's got a little bulge, a little bigger bulge than I like. Um, these are an 80 PSI max tire. I like to put them at 70. That does not look like it is at 70. So we're going to uh, grab the air gauge and check it out. And this is why I think it's important to have onboard air in your truck for situations like this so I don't have to drag a huge airline because I used to have a compressor in here. Right in there in that back corner, but I took it out just because it took a lot of room and it really wasn't that good. And I would have to start my big generator uh, to get it going basically and this you know compressor I don't know it's just it's really old and the problem is that when it would be full of air even with the generator on sometimes the compressor still would not start and it's just it's a pain in the butt here we go so this thing's probably I don't know I'd say 15 years old it is a three gallon compressor this is the one that was in the trailer and you know it worked pretty decent it went to I think 120 or so um, but I got rid of it, took up space, and never used it because I used the one in my Duramax now. Now here's the one in the old Dirty Max girl right here. Um, I just have a single compressor with a five gallon tank here. It is the constant duty compressor. If you guys are interested in doing onboard air in your truck, I highly recommend you do a constant duty compressor. And this thing goes to about 140, 145. Uh, you can change the pressure switch out for a 200 right there it's a pressure switch uh, but the problem with that is the train horns uh, they're gonna sound different they don't sound good when they're at 200 that's why I kept the 145 and if you guys are going to use your truck for a lot of air which I don't use that much I mainly have it just when we go out to the desert to fill up the Can-Am if the tires are low or if we got to you know dump some air out of the Dirty Max tires air down if we're stuck uh, and it fills you know these tires right up now, why I think it's important to, to get the constant duty compressor, number one, I mean, well, constant duty. So this thing can constantly work uh, to make it, you know, simple for you guys. It's like a marathon runner. Compared to like the other compressor, the Viar compressors, a lot of them can run, but they can't run for a long period of time. They will shut off when they get hot. The constant duty compressor, on the other hand, will run and run and run a lot longer than the other one. Now, if you guys need onboard air and depend on onboard air a lot, like if I was running air tools and stuff like that, and I've run air tools off this before, it does work, but if you guys want more air, the best tank that I've seen so far, and I might, I might consider getting it, I'm not sure, just because when I go to the desert, this is my only option for air tank, but I might consider the Air Zenith. I don't know if you guys heard of that thing, but that Air Zenith, I believe Air Zenith OB2 or something like that, is a badass tank. It's about, two of my tanks uh, combined into one air zenith. So, I, cause if, if I need more air and this is not enough, I would go get that air zenith tank instead of a Viair tank. My Viair tank right now that I have, I believe, I think it pulls about 1.5, 1.50 CFM. Um, it's not a fast filling, it doesn't fill it very, very fast. It fills it more of, like I said, it's a slower running tank, but it'll run a lot, lot longer. I don't really need that much air, you know, it's just for the toys, and you know what? I mean, I've never filled a trailer tire with it, so, I mean, let's go see. First, let's check the pressure, because I'm sure it's low, and let's see how good it's gonna fill uh, that trailer tire, because all I've really ever used it for is the Can-Am, you know, the Razor, the little toy, stuff like this. I have not yet used it on a big 80 PSI tire. I have used it on the Dirty Max tire before, um, but I think it was only, you know, about 15 pounds low. So it didn't really take that long uh, to get up to that 15 pound mark. But first things first, let's start up the Dirty Max, head over to the trailer and, you know, make sure uh, it is low because to me, I'm pretty dang sure it's low. If you guys are wondering, the switch is right there for uh, the tank when you flip that. I Sometimes I just leave it on, turn it off, doesn't really matter. Uh, there's no air leaks, you know, as long as you Teflon everything up good, make sure there's no air leaks, uh, it should not turn on at all. But my truck, because it sits, you know, for a while, especially during the summertime because desert season's over, I turn the switch off and just for the hell of it because I don't really use it. Uh, in the summertime, you know, it's really pretty much just river and I don't go that much to the river. Right there, it's about, I don't know, 75 degrees. 
cold, it's pretty much as cold as we're gonna get here right now. Now obviously if I can do any, you know, heavy cutting in the garage, you know, with air, I'm not going to use the truck. I'm going to use my 60 gallon uh, tank right here. This thing I believe only goes to 150 also, 155 right here. But, you know, look at the size of the, of the tank on this thing. And it is a 220, not a 110. So this thing fills pretty damn fast and works great. I don't use too much air around here. Uh, you know, all my tools are battery powered. The only time I'm gonna use that is mainly for the plasma cutter and when I gotta grind some stuff off. And even the majority of my grinders now are battery powered. And this compressor was actually pretty cheap. I think I only paid four or 500 bucks for this compressor. Uh, so far so good, it's been doing really great for me. You can get both options, the 110 or the 220. Uh, if you guys can, I would prefer the 220. It fills much faster. And I believe, I wanna say it's a 60 gallon, yeah, 60 gallon uh, tank right there. Look at that. It's like a mobile air compressor. All right, now let's get everything out of the uh, truck over here. Let's open it. All right, we got our air hose. Gotta have our uh, certified air gauge here. All right, let's plug it into our uh, handy dandy so these are the best guys these quick disconnects instead of the other ones where you have to uh push it this thing you just push it in and then when you disconnect it's got a little button right there got it from home depot i don't remember how much they were uh but they're they're nice they're simple you just push it you're done just like that same thing with this connector right here uh, it looks like it's a pull down style one, but you only got to pull when releasing when pushing it or putting the air valve in or whatever you're putting in uh, all you got to do is push it in there just like that let's turn it on all right let's see what we're at here and you just push this down right here and it'll connect for you that's it locks into play look at that it is at 44.2 i knew it looked a little low so i'm gonna put this at 70 and uh well we'll see how long it takes to get to 70 pounds and the compressor will kick on here shortly it does kick on pretty fast So it looks like that compressor kicked on at 110. And you know, that's not uh, very loud. I don't know if you guys can hear this. People say these Viers are loud. I don't know, they're not loud. And I'm still uh, holding it down right now. Let's see how much pressure I got in here first. Oh, we're at 70 already. Okay, 71. I like to put them at 70, so we're a little too much pressure. There you go, 70, I put them at 70.1. Well, that filled it pretty quick, guys. Went from uh, 40 to 70 and not too bad. It did drop down, it's already at 100. So this thing, you know, for this uh, little compressor, it fills pretty quick and works pretty, pretty damn good. Now let's check uh, the other tire and see what we're at. All right, that one was at 62. Let's check this one. This, this is why I love these onboard airs, you know, so much. Instead of me having to, you know, drag a compressor out of the garage or, or extension or whatever, that's it. Back the truck up, got your onboard air. We're at 64, what are we at? 64.3. I hear air come out of here. Hold on, it's not in right. All right, this tire is at 64. So let's put her at 70 here. 66. Just like that, guys. It's that easy. Well, that's it. We're all done. This, like I said, it's still the pull down. Very easy. And under here, you just push this button right here and it releases it and then push it one more and then you get the final release. And we're done. Put all my handy dandy tools back here. And if you guys are wondering where I got this gauge from, I did get this gauge from Amazon. Uh, what I like is just, it's a digital gauge. I don't like those, you know, other cheap ones that sometimes don't work or work and they don't give you an accurate reading. Comes with a nice nylon hose, so you don't have to worry about a rubber hose, you know, cracking or coming apart. Um, and you know, I've, I got one in my truck I keep 
and I got one in the trailer I keep, and I keep one also in the garage. And I've had some of you guys ask me, Eddie, where did you get this uh, mat? This mat I actually just got from GM. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing special. Just order it from the dealer. I think it was, I don't know, 100 bucks. I don't remember. I got this like three years ago. 90 bucks, maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, you can just call the dealer, tell them what you got, and they'll send one to you. So there you have it, guys. That's why, to me, it's important to have onboard air just for little situations like that. Just it's, it's easier, it's convenient, you know, you start the truck up and you take it where you want and it works good. And if there's anybody out there that has tried that Zenith tank or that has that Zenith tank, let me know how it is because I might be interested in purchasing one uh, for the Duramax if I use the onboard air enough. I just, like I said, I don't use the onboard air enough to need that much air constantly. Again, just because, you know, it's just for the desert. The Can-Am doesn't really leak any air. Other than that, I just check the tire pressure and maybe it'll be a pound low and that's about it. You know, I have really no need for a bunch of air pressure. That's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace.